Hello everyone. Oh, Seamus peed on a tree. Okay, cool. <laughs> Great start. Hello everyone and welcome back to some orange season. Let me move the mic a little bit away from the inside of my mouth. That'll probably, uh, oh, that's cute. That'll probably help a bit. But first thing to note is, uh, on this update video, I should probably specify that before we start going into the update. Oh my god, the chicken's big now. Sorry, getting distracted right out of the gate. So orange season, uh, probably one of the first farming sims that I really played on my channel actually got an update lately. So I'm going to go through the patch notes with you guys. Uh, first thing to note is that the font is very different and so is the window style. So that is one of the key things to notice. And uh, yes, so I started my day, I guess it auto saved. Um, I was going to record this video the other day and I didn't get around to it. But since we're inside the mines, I'll go ahead and start here then. What a great place to start. And as you guys can tell, the lighting is completely different in here. It's very bright. And the nights are also darker as well, but uh, they, the developer, added some lighting effects to all the lamps around town. So that's a very good keynote feature to add. So let's see. Apparently they added a trash can as well somewhere. Not sure where, but we're just going to kind of go through the update list after this very uh, chaotic start. One by one. So let's see. Moved Maya's house to Rocktown. So Maya, or Mia, M-I-A. I guess I've heard it pronounced both ways. Not entirely sure which one is correct. So their house used to be over, if I can run fast enough, here. So their house used to be like right here in this little area, but it's now replaced by this festival bulletin board and also the request board. And I think this is a trash can that they added to be clear. Oh, which actually we can do that. Yay, saving the environment one by one. Cool, sweet. So that is there. Um, there's improved mouse support. Uh, nine new unlockable seeds and since uh, we're talking about seeds why don't we go ahead and we'll have to wait like a little bit for this to open but I do know that the interior of the shop has changed um, trees will now be transparent when you stand behind them uh, oh there we go there's one okay I don't think it's true for this guy I think this guy needs a little patch but that's okay so that's actually a really really good feature to add because it gets kind of annoying when you walk behind a tree and, like, they're not transparent. I don't know. Lately, playing Verdant Skies, I've gotten kind of addicted to that. So, it's nice to see it included here. But, yes, the store is completely different now. Oh, it looks so good. I'm really impressed by these. The little shelves. Oh, yay. Cool. So, these must be some of the seeds. And you can actually order them by, uh, like, you get 10 seeds per order. Which makes, like, a lot of sense. And it's better than just ordering one at a time. But, oh my gosh, there's a ton. If we can scroll through it like this, there's a lot. My goodness. Okay, good to know. Good to note. Uh, let's see. The selected tool will now become highlighted in the uh, toolbar. Yep, makes sense. Also, when you highlight over it, it has the name of it. Not sure if that was there before, but that's good to know. Apparently, there's a tomato festival. Auto run is now enabled by default. Hmm, let me check that out real quick. Is there an options, gameplay, auto run? So I have it off, but I guess it's automatically enabled. Move items to backpack directly. Ooh, cool. Cool, cool. I don't actually need the toolbar on. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that. Okay, cool. Close menu. Yay. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so nice. You can customize the HUD a bit more. Oh, good job. Okay, change the spawn rate of all items. That includes crystals. Um small crystals in the caves and stuff that you need to upgrade and make all the sprinklers um <laughs> the spawn rate has apparently changed in those not sure exactly what science is behind that right now but uh, uh the developer did take a lot of time out of their day to try and explain that to me and it just went purely over my head so bless them for trying but uh yeah oh i keep trying to like hold shift to sprint let's see what else is new so uh added a lot of new items doesn't really specify what? This kind of looks like one, actually. Hold on, what is this? Oh, plum! I guess that is one. Hey! Uh, so it looks like we got a plum in here. <laughs> this is just a great... I'm terrible at these types of video, guys. Just a heads up. If you haven't noticed already. But uh, added dwarf clouds. Not sure what that means. But uh, good to know. Hello, kitty. Added golden oranges. Uh, changed default font and window things, which we covered. Added achievement screen. Where is that at? Achievements. Oh, yay! Cool. Get the, get a rooster. Oh, we got a lot of these already, actually. Reach summer, reach fall. Cool. Complete 50 tasks. So, it doesn't look like we have this one, but we have completed a task. So, wow, we got a lot left. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we also don't have this one. Harvest 1,000 crops. Okay, so it looks like we have all of them except for two that are currently available to us. 
which isn't bad at all, actually. Okay, fixed issue with empty item appearing on inventory. Didn't know that was an issue, but cool. Improved game performance, new setting, max frame skip. Woo! Let's go ahead and test that little sucker out, shall we? So I guess it's graphics, max frame skip. Oh, cool. Not sure. Yay! Um, <laughs> not sure what a lot of this stuff is. Uh, and then several bug fixes. So that's roughly the gist of everything fixed. I kind of want to go see Maya's house or Mia's house. I'm not sure where they plopped. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Oh, yay. I, I think that fits in a lot better, actually. So they're just going to tell me no one's home. Yep. Oh, but it actually looks really good right there. Fits in just nice and cozy. So sweet. I know that was kind of a little bit fast, so I will leave the link to the patch notes down below. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this short little video um, to kind of see a visual representation of all the updates. Hopefully I'll get better in time with these, but I'm mainly known for my Let's Plays, not update videos, sadly. But I'll work on it, so it's all a learning process. Anyway guys, hope you have a great day, and please remember to uh, like, comment, subscribe, the whole shebang. And I'll try and keep you guys posted as far as update videos go and uh, what's new to games and such. So until next time, guys, see ya!